For measurements and annotations, we'll start quickly with some basic 2D measurements. Just get a real quick image up on the screen here. And just simply freeze and press the measure button. And here you have all your available measurements. So if I want to just do a quick measurement, it's got, I've got the caliper here, and I can just simply click set and then set and make my measurement there, store the image, and move on. That is for your most basic imaging for all that. Uh, it didn't really assign it. It's not going to be on the worksheet or anything of that sort because it's just a simple measurement. When you do any sort of unnamed distance measurement that's not associated with a calculation, um, it just it, it, all you're going to get is that on screen. You won't get anything on the report. In order to do something on the report, you need to get something specific. So you can make here and just take your measurement across. And now it actually gives me a measurement that will show up. So we have this up here on our worksheet for a 2D two-dimensional measurements here. So anytime you take something that is a calc, if you want to take a measurement that you need to show up on the report, it needs to have a specific label that would technically be a calculation or some sort of body part, like aortic diameter or something like that when you select that. Store and then unfreeze. I can click on my worksheet again, and then here I've got that diameter right there. So, again, without and this is the same on any other ultrasound machine if you don't use a specific calc or have it assigned to a specific um, piece of anatomy or calculation, it won't show up in that report. That's just an FYI. So, quickly moving on to the Doppler measurements. Let me get my cursor and just go ahead and hit PW to get full. And invert that. ASO for auto. And then I can freeze. Then I'm going to hit my measurement. Do mid, right, peak systolic. And I can pick it right there. And then it's got a 1 next to it. Now I have to hit that set key. If I don't see a 1, I don't see the result up there, something's wrong. So I'll go ahead and choose my end diastolic here. And now I have the 2. I can move, hide this box. Oops. Click set. And I can move this results box around the screen. And then I have my results there. And if I unfreeze, it'll show up on the worksheet. Well, we have it on the worksheet right there. And it's just showing my right CCA uh, exactly how I assigned it. We also have an auto calc feature. I'm go ahead and click auto. I don't have much of an image there, though. Choosing auto and live. And let me get that 2D image up top. So as you can see, this live auto is just choosing my peak and end my peak and end for me as I go along. If I say okay, I like that, I didn't like that. But you can do manual. What I did is I chose auto and then live, and then it automatically found that for me. So that's how you use that auto trace feature. Now I've showed you the worksheet a couple times. This is not the report. This is actually just a worksheet where you can take a look at your measurements. And if you don't like what you see, you can make changes in this measurement by hitting set and you can backspace and change it to what you think it should have been. And it will have an asterisk next to it showing that that measurement was changed by the user. So the ones that don't show that it hasn't had a change by a user. Just click Worksheet again, and we'll get into the reports in the next video. Now for annotations, I'm going to go right back to a 2D and freeze the image. Get rid of my cursor, freeze the image. Annotations are pretty simple. You can just stop and just start typing. And auto text will appear what it thinks that you are looking for. So I typed L, and the suggested word appeared. And I can just hit the Tab key, and it will use that. 
So if I do, and I can move that around once I hit that set and then hit set again, and it's there to stay. Now, if I want to see the annotation library that can be assigned in the system setup, and I will cover that in the system setup chapter, you go ahead and you hit the text key, and that is going to give you a pre-programmed library of everything that is there. So I can choose anterior, uh, ECIR, you can just select these and put them all over the screen, hit store and save it. Now, this delete key will delete just the last one that I did. If I want to clear them all, I do page erase and it gets rid of everything on screen. We also have an arrow here for annotation that you can use. And notice that the direction of it changes based on which way I move, I'm moving the trackball. So you can have it go in whichever way you want, or you can just sit here and have fun and spin it in circles uh, if you're really bored. <laughs> but anyway, to do that, you're going to hit set to set that in place. Now, there's also another arrow available for whatever reason. You can click on this text button up here, and there's also an arrow here where you can click on that, hit set, and then draw an extended arrow in case the other arrow wasn't enough for you. You can also edit it. By, and this is also for the text, you click edit, you can click on that and move it again. So if I have text in there, I can go back to edit, click on whatever it is that I wanted to edit, and say delete the T, same thing here, I can go back to edit, and I can use all these keys to move forward or back. click set and then I can store that image and I'm all good to go. Now again uh, we will get into the system setup where this library can be customized and you can also choose other libraries so it goes very very deep and you can customize each one of these if, if you'd like. I'm on the carotid but if you're doing lower extremity artery you have um, very specific ones for that as well. So I can do that and again I can delete to delete the last one or page erase to remove all annotations. Next, we'll get into reports and exporting.